Hey everyone out in the YouTube world, it's Craig from Flying Wheels. You guys know the game, I went to the auction today, I bought a car, tell me what it is. What am I driving? I'll even give you a good glimpse of it. I will give you a hint, it's a rare one, it's an old one, and it's one I haven't driven in a while, and I haven't yet made a video of it. So comment down below with your guesses, I'll tell you in just a moment. Winner is gonna get some uh, Flying Wheels swag, add up your points, and eventually gonna mail you out some cool stuff, hats, shirts, blah, 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 whatever. All right, my channel, Flying Wheels, Wheels is all about car stuff. Buying, selling, cleaning, fixing, tips, whatever. Everything car related. If you're not already subscribing, make sure you subscribe down below. If you already are subscribing, thank you very much for the support. Let's get going on the video. I'll tell you what I'm driving right now and we'll get started in the story. Hey everyone, on the YouTube world is Craig from Flying Wheels and you'll see it's another auction day behind me. It was a busy day, it's cold as hell even though it's spring. I was hoping for something a little bit warmer, but today I did buy some fun stuff and that's what I love about spring. So, I had a bidding war with somebody for a Mercedes. What kind of Mercedes you might ask? There it is right behind me. 1979 Mercedes SL450. You can see it right here, 140,000 miles. But I was told from the seller, and if it's true, that this car came from Hawaii. So, I don't know if that's any better than New England. We have New England rust, they have ocean salt, I guess, salt air. But the car's pretty clean looking at it. Is that, oh, he wasn't lying. Okay, it has a Hawaii inspection sticker on it. It's a 79, it's actually pretty solid. You can still, it still has the original chrome wheels. And the rocker panels are in great shape. The bot, I've, I've owned several of these and a lot of times they bubble up and rust right around here in these areas and then in here as well. And this is solid. Uh, it actually has a brand new Massachusetts inspe inspection sticker on it too, which is kind of nice to see. Oh, we got a little bit of rust right there. That looks like it's pushed in a little bit. Good tires, good body. The uh, previous owner, the dealer that was selling it guarantees me that that convertible top is in there and in great shape. Hey, Pop Al, how you doing? All right, let's see if this thing starts right up. So I'm not gonna pump it. Let's just turn the key, see what happens. Listen to it purr. Dash is in great shape. No cracks in the dash. All the fans work. I don't know how to get these to work. Nothing happening. The radio work? On? Yeah, the radio works. Now how do I shut it off? So far, so good. It's a clean car. Look at that roof. Roof's in good shape on the top. Carpeting's in good shape. You want to drive it home or you want me to drive it home? You can drive it. You don't want to drive this? I'll drive it. I don't care. Sure. I don't actually expect it to be that fun. But I think someone older, like 50s or 60s, will buy it and enjoy it. It'll be a cheap car. Probably $79.95. Put it out with the top off and see what kind of bikes we get. Yeah, it came with the convertible top tools so we can take the top off. It goes like this, I guess. I've actually never had a Mercedes that came with those. I've always had to do it with a screwdriver or something. Actually, the engine sounds pretty good from behind. Bottom of the trunk's in good shape. The trunk lid, at least. We got panels everywhere. Oh, that's solid. Good. Full size spare in the back. Anything else I just noticed in here. We still have the original tool kit in there. What's in here? I don't know that I even want to open that yet. Everything shuts well. Go, go, go. And then, trying to find out how the heck to open the hood, right there. Listen how quiet that is. I'll take that air, air cover off right there and paint the whole thing. Degrease everything. This will be really, really nice. For them. Through the years, they had three models or sub models of this SL style. It was the 380 SL, the 450 SL, and the 560 SL. The 380 SL had a, a name for uh, wasn't very reliable. The 450 SL was a great engine, even still, 40 years later, the thing's purring like a kitten. And then the 560L was a giant engine and a ton of fun. Uh, also a great engine. This 450SL is a 4.5 liter, uh, 180 horsepower V8 with a three speed automatic. So let's give it some gas and see how it does. You know, for a, for a car this heavy, this old, 
I mean, it wasn't head whipping back type of power, but it was a smooth little bit of get up on it when I floored it. So I'm not unimpressed. I was expecting to be unimpressed and I was not pleasantly surprised either. I think maybe I just wasn't disappointed in the power. It had just enough for me to not be disappointed. So all in all, this car is fun to drive. I don't feel like I'm in a 40 year old car. Like if I was in a 1979 IROC or Trans Am, uh, Z28 or a Trans Am, I would really feel like I was placed in that era. I'd feel like I was riding a rough old car. This, I mean, the seats are very bouncy. I sunk right into the leather. You can see right here, they're in great shape. I mean, it's really comfortable for 40 years old. I don't feel like I'm driving a 40 year old vehicle by any means. Just looking at it right now, all the gauges work. I've owned several of these and the gauges have never worked and they actually do. The dash is in good shape. This piece right here is usually falling off because it's not really affixed well, uh, but this one's tight on there. Does the ashtray work? Yep, the ashtray works and it's clean. Uh, the only thing I can see is some of the wood grain is starting to chip off. I can't believe the condition of the dashboard. A lot of times I'll buy these with like a plastic dash cover that's perfectly fit and shaped for the dash. This is the original dash. The glove box opens and closes tightly. The carpets are still here. Look at those door panels. And the headliner is amazing. Look at that headliner, the back carpets. I'm really pleased with this car. Now the nice thing about these Mercedes is they're not worth a ton of money. So even though it's a classic, even though it's an antique, even though it's a luxury car, you can pick these things up for under 10 grand. So you can have a classic, luxurious car for under $10,000. So these cars are the ultimate luxury car. There's really nothing amazing or impressive about it at 40 years old. However, it was a luxury car in 1979 and it's still a luxury car today. I can take this out with my wife for a nice dinner and park it next to a Ferrari. It has that much taste to it. It's just classic flavor. This is a really nice vehicle ready to impress anybody. So I can drive it as a 30 something year old, a 20 something year old can afford it. So I stopped at the gas station and even an older gentleman, an older fella came up to me and he goes, what a beautiful car. He can just appreciate what the car is. He even said to me, love to have this down at his house on the Cape, drive it around town all the time out with his wife. That is exactly what this car is for. It's really versatile. It can be used for anybody. I mean, you look at a new SL 500, yeah, spend 30, 40, 50 grand for one, and you kind of get the same looks out of something like this. Granted, the luxuries and the amenities aren't, I mean, they're not even in comparison, but this car is an absolute classic, and you can own a really nice one for $8,000. So that's what we're here, that's what I'm hoping for. We're gonna clean this car up, I'm gonna go through it, I'm gonna really just do the nice finishing touches. I think somebody's really going to appreciate this car and really have a lot of fun with it. And it's a beautiful, luxurious, classy car. Again, for it'll be under $8,000 for somebody. So I think this one was a winner. Again, I have to keep saying for 40 years old, I'm really impressed with the car. The fit and finish, it really says a lot about Mercedes. Everything just feels really well built. The steering wheel is solid and tight. The windows go down smoothly. You know, they, they're not slow, they're not fast, they just, they're just smooth. And even the hazard button, when I hit the hazards, they hold and they light up. Everything works on it. I'm just really impressed with this car. It's a really well-built vehicle 40 years ago and it's standing the test of time. I figured out who this car is perfect for. It's, it's a perfect car, it's a perfect, it's a perfect second vehicle for an older man, late 40s, 50s or 60s, that lives up at the lake or by the beach that can keep this in their garage and just enjoy it on the weekends. I'm just imagining the stereotypes of the type of person that would really enjoy this car. And although I did say like 40, 50, 60 year old male, I really feel like that quirky, like, I don't know how to explain it, quirky, like strange person that really likes to be different than everyone else would really enjoy this car. You know, like a novelist, somebody who likes to write an author or something like that. I feel like this car just really stands out and it's different but elegant and classy at the same time. And the process of the engine. And that is detailing right there. He's got a toothbrush with him. You can see. Wow. 
So we took a uh, scotch bright pad to the valve cover. This is the before, this is the after. Hey, so here we go, finished product of my 1979 Mercedes 450 SL. The car is amazing. I, it was a great purchase, I'm glad we bought it. The wheels are shiny. It is a Hawaiian car, it has the Hawaiian inspection sticker. You can see the chrome on it came all, all came back. The white kind of has a pearl in it. You can see it in the sun. And now with the top down, you really get a glimpse of what the interior looks like. I am so pumped about this car. Even my wife liked it. And for my wife to like an old car, that says a lot. So I'll do a quick walk around from this side. So I have it up for $79.95. I've already, just from putting it out in the out in the corner of my parking lot, everyone stops to check it out, which isn't necessarily so good because you get a lot of stop and chats. But the car is fun. And the car is nice, and it is classy and timeless. Here's the end result under the hood, too. If you remember, this uh, engine cover was all rusty. We cleaned up the valve covers. The valve covers came out beautifully. Just I'm really proud of this car. I think whoever buys it is going to end up with a great car. And uh, the other thing that I found out too was how nice the top was. So let's open the top up. So the seller that. didn't the seller didn't lie. I got a mint condition coffee colored soft top too that was underneath the hard top. I am so pumped about this car. It's going to be fun to drive until it sells. All right, everyone. So that right there is my 1979 Mercedes SL 450. It's up for sale, up for grabs, $79.95. If anybody wants it, hit me up. Also, make sure you subscribe and click the thumbs up so other people get to see this video. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you later. Adios.